This is Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you what this big pile of parts is here. In my last video I showed you my homemade camera crane DIY 22 foot and a couple shots from that. This is easier to set up and it's a lot more useful as well. I use it all the time on a ton of shoots. I recently had a shoot where I was by a pool and I needed to go the whole length of the pool with a jib arm out swimming with a swimmer in front of them. And that was the only way I could think of to get the camera right in front of the swimmer was to put the jib arm onto the dolly and slide the whole thing across the pool. We're gonna set this thing up, get some shots, and we're gonna do that right now. Let's go! So you guys have probably already seen a ton of DIY sliders that are out there. This was just on the cheap. I built this thing so inexpensively. And like I said, this is, you know, this was built probably a year after my crane. So we've been using this thing for about 18 years in car lots and office buildings. We've done so many different applications. I can't even remember how many places I've dragged this around to. But this one particular shoot where I had to get in front of that swimmer, go the length of a pool, have them turn around and come back. That was what they originally wanted. We only used like maybe a 15 foot section of it, but that was a really cool setup. So you can see in the photos here, we had everything set up. The interesting part about this pool is all of the lights were burned out. So I went down to Harbor Freight and I bought a bunch of those little tiny flashlights and they're not necessarily waterproof. They definitely don't advertise that they are but I glued them with some hot glue into these big circles and I actually was able to submerge them long enough to get this shot done. So we kind of waited until we were ready to shoot. We turned all the flashlights on on each one and then we put them where the lights would be in the pool. And we actually put a little weight on the end of a strap so it would sit down in the water and the weight would sit up on the edge of the pool and hold the lights there. I know that's not what this video is about, but I thought it was pretty cool. You can see the, the lighting in this actually turned out really good for what it was. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up a track that runs this way. I'm gonna film my wife walking through these trees here. We're gonna get a shot so you kind of get an idea and then I'll show you some other shots that we've used in other productions. The secret sauce, I forgot to tell you about the secret sauce. This was the secret sauce. These things are a dime a dozen. You can go down to Home Depot and get these things for super cheap. It's, all they are is the fence posts. They're 10 foot fence posts. So they go down in the ground two feet, they stick up eight, or they slide along for 10. And if you have these, you can connect as many as you want. And when you get to that seam where these two pieces are together and that dolly rolls over it, it's like it's not even there. You can't feel it at all. It's just perfectly buttery smooth the whole length, however long you want it. So I had it set up to do 40 feet, and this time we're gonna do 30 just for time. I have two more, so I could do 50 on my next big production, whatever that's gonna be. So the wheels that we put on here are actually, it's just a piece of angle iron like this, and I put one side in the vise, and I bent it like this, and then I did the same thing to the other side, so now it comes down and it has two little feet for the sake of getting this actually finished tonight, because I don't have a brake that I can actually break this on, you can buy them fairly cheap, and they, there's ones that'll actually just clamp right into your vise, and then you've got a handle on the side, so you could bend something like this really easily. I don't have that luxury today, so I'm gonna put this in the vise like this, and line it up so it's nice and straight here. And then I'm going to hit it with a hammer just like this. Now you want to have this be at a 45 degree angle right here. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it and it looks pretty good right there. So now we're going to flip this and do the same thing on this side. Went a little too far on that. You could see I kind of overbent it, but it's better to overbend it than not bend it enough. So the whole idea is when you set this down, you want these pieces to be sitting flat. So right now, this one is not bent enough. There we go. That is pretty flat, looking good. 
Yeah, I made it so there was not a lot of slop in here. This hole is the exact diameter of this, so it doesn't fit in there super loose. It sits in there nice and tight when you put it in. I put another bolt here to tension my bearings on my wheel. I didn't want to have to smash it, and this way I can really tune these in if they're not running smooth enough or if they're too loose, I can tighten that up or loosen that up. To make sure that when your wheels are coming down, where you're gonna hit that pipe and where you're gonna roll on it. And you can see clearly right here, I've got a mark. That's where this is running on that pipe. This is where this is running on the pipe. So these could be further up and I'd still be all right, but I didn't wanna worry about having to scrape right here. So this, is, this works perfect the way it is. So this, piece is bigger obviously than this one so this was six inches on each side this one was four and a half So I've got one more tip for you before we get started. When you are setting up a shot like this, think about where you are and how you can make the best out of it. I got two shots. I've got a really good shot this way that's a little more wide open. And on this side, I've got another shot that's a little bit more like walking through trees and a little bit more foreground. It's gonna look really cool. So just in this one setup, I'm gonna be able to get two really good shots. I'm gonna do one more shot and it's just gonna be a simple push into the car here. So we're gonna set up some tracks here and we're just gonna push in. As that sun's going down, it should look pretty ominous, I guess, because those clouds are pretty dark. So we'll see what it looks like. So on this end, I had to put a little piece of wood there to kind of get it up because uh, it was there's a buckle in the concrete right here where it's kind of doing this. So I'll take any extra movement out of there and keep this thing nice and level and flat so it's not tilting. When I do this, I sit here, have my camera here, and I'm able to actually move the camera where I want it. But today, I only have me. So I'm doing this all myself. And that might lead into the next video that I do because I did find this really cool tracking device, especially for these videos. If I had this, it would basically track my face and I could actually be doing whatever I'm doing and it'll follow me around. And I know there's a lot of gimbals out there that claim that they can do that, but they just have not got that technology figured out very well yet. This is why you need to subscribe. So this was the Dolly project. I really like that it looks really homemade and it's really raw and I've got, you know, gas pipes here and skateboard wheels on the bottom of this thing and it looks homemade and people kind of snicker when I show up on a job with it and then we get it moving and working and they're like, wow, you made that? 
And I love that. That's actually one of my favorite parts of doing a production and being on set and having something that looks really homemade, but seeing it work really, really well. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to build one of these yourself and have any questions, please ask. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content like it. If you liked it a lot, hit the thumbs up and you will see me in the next video.